politician. She's bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. YouTube, as you can tell, I have not been wanting to do my hair. So don't judge me, okay? Y'all, I'm about to kick my dog out. Give me 1.5 seconds. YouTube, I'm back. <clears throat> Apparently, I'm not a good mother because my dog is crazy. Um, today's story time. Which one do I want to choose? Hmm. <laughs> I guess we can do I slept with a married man okay y'all this sounds bad I slept with a married man y'all okay let me just start by how me and this guy met and just how everything like flowed out okay I don't know if this is gonna be girl talk or if this is gonna be a story time this might be, who knows, but anyways, um, okay, I think I'm about to get a pillow today, just because, this is crazy, my house is kind of cold, but, um, where can I start, so as you guys know, in high school, I was a part of promoter, and I promoted for a certain person, and, I'm going to try my best to be very vague, okay? Very vague. Because I know him and we're really great friends still. That sounded bad. You will understand at the end of the story, okay? So, um, <laughs> so I was a party promoter for this person and I don't, what should I call him? Ooh. I'm just call him Macho Man, okay? Um, I promoted for Macho Man and pretty much uh how did this start? How did this even start? Okay, so <laughs> there came a time where the people that I promoted for be had a group. They made a group. And this group had like a lot of different high school and college people in it. Um, T actually was party promoting with me. B did not want to party promote. Uh, she had other things in mind and other things that she was doing, which is completely fine. Um, Macho Man actually wanted to have a meeting with all of the group members that was part of this promoting team. And we met at this hotel lobby. So at this hotel lobby, he uh, pretty much was just telling us what he expects from us. And this is my first time seeing him. This is the very first time I have seen Macho Man ever. This is the first time we met. This is the first, just the first, every time, like, every, like we ever encounter each other. So, um, so pretty much, I'm going to try to, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much uh, when he was telling us what he expects from us and he was just telling us what he needed us to bring to the table and how if we couldn't bring it to the table then he would like pretty much let us go type thing and so while he's talking I'm like thinking in my head like I just really want to fuck like I really want to fuck him and back in like high school okay listen back in high school I was a little wild I was very wild actually um I was very wild and <laughs> that's the only thing I really wanted from him I didn't want nothing more and nothing less I just really wanted to see what that dick was working with let me be so blunt with it maybe this might be girl talk because this isn't a good start <laughs> so I really just really wanted to see what it was working with like he looked so good like boy Back then, I really just was like, dang. So, okay, let me get into the story. So, um, he, like, gets everyone's, like, social medias 
and he makes sure that he follows us all back on Twitter and things of the sort. He also gives our contact information so that he could like text and like make sure that we're doing our jobs. He was just so manly. Maybe I should call him manly man. He was just so manly like ugh. So anyways, like when it became my turn to give him my Twitter and my information, I just was like googly eyeing him. Like I was just like, hi, how are you doing? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was really like feeling him. So he just like kind of like looked at me, like laughed it off a little bit. And <laughs> next you know, I see him again um, at the, um, one of the parties that we promoted. He was like at the door or whatever. And he's just like, hey, he said my name. He's like, hey, Ashley. And I was just like, Hey, macho man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy. So, it wound up, like, um, being a part of promoter, like, back then, we would get drunk. And we were not legal at all to get drunk. But we were getting drunk at the club. So, um, we got drunk. And I was, like, leaving. He's just like, are you cool to drive? Like, he just has always cared about me, you know? So, I was just like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. But I was like loaded, you know? So he was like, text me when you get home. So I texted him when I got home, but when I texted him when I got home, it wasn't like I made it home type of text. It was more so like, you trying to fuck or what? Like that's like literally, like I don't think it was that those exact words, but it was pretty much like me trying to slide in his DMs and he was just like, baby girl, you too young for me type of stuff. So I was just like, what the F? Like, why is he turning me down? Um, around this time, I actually lived in my own apartment. So I had my own place. And also at this time is when I was getting to know um, Mr. Officer. Is what I'm going to call him in most of my story times. I was getting to know Mr. Officer. And I'm saying it just like that because that's what it is. <laughs> So, anyways, he, like, pretty much blew me off, which, like, really offended me. So, I, like, I, like, kind of, like, felt some type of way anytime I was around him. Like, he's so fucking freaking fine. But, like, ugh, you didn't want this? You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't want all of this, all of this comedy stuff, all this caramel stuff. He didn't want it. So, um, me and Mr. Officer, we started dating. Um, we used to get into it so much because he was just a kid. And, like, to this day, he's still a kid. Like, He's like freaking 29 years old and he still acts like a child. Like it really made me so angry. And for me to be a child and him act like a child and me not accept it, that shows that you need to grow up. So we would like break up and be back on and break up and be back on. And one time we broke up and Miss, um, Mr. Macho Man like was trying to like see what was up with me because I had like such an attitude. And so he pulled me to the side and tried to have a little conversation. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm just tripping like... Me and my dude just broke up, and, like, he's just on my last nerve. Like, I just can't. And so, at the time, him, his, okay, now let me tell y'all. He was not married when we started doing what we were doing. He was dating someone. So, the girl that he was dating, they wanted to get into it that same exact day, too. And he was just like, oh, me and my girl get into it too. Like, he's like, it's cool. Like, just keep your calm. Like, you know, like trying to tell me to stay humble. So, that's pretty much what I did. And what happened? I don't know how it happened. Like, I think that night or maybe a week later, like, we want to get drunk or something. And, like, I sent the text messages, like, you trying to fuck or what's up? So, he was just like, I'm on my way. So he came on his way and we started sleeping around together. So what pretty much happened, because I have never cheated, I have never ever cheated on Mr. Officer. Let me get that very clear, very straight, very, very. So anytime me and Mr. Officer would like go through it or like not be together for a month or so, me and Mr. Macho Man would sleep around because him and his girl would be going through it the, the same exact time. And so, it got to the point where me and Mr. Officer actually cut ties completely because I was coming to college and I wanted to experience college and he wanted me to experience college. And so, uh, me and him was still like casually having sexual intercourse even though we uh, completely stopped a little bit. Um, but me and Macho Man, we like had like a scheduled date 
that we would do it when I was a freshman. And Macho Man was like older than me. He was like, I'm, I was legal, okay? But he was like, I think he was like 26, 27, 28, one of those. And I think I was like 19. I don't know, 1920, one of those. Well, not when I was in high school. I was like 19, my senior year, when we started doing what we was doing. But um, anyways, it pretty much went on for a very long time. And it got to the point where like we never, we, me and him never had attachments to each other. It wasn't, it was just like literally just what, what it was. It was just sex. And so, um, anyways, what wound up happening is he proposed to that same exact girlfriend that he kept on getting into with way back when. He proposed to her and they're getting married. Very proud of him. We are still, to this day, we are still friends and it's not like no we're friends but I really want you secretly want you it was just like we had sex because we wanted to have sex with each other we had really good sex so that being said we would have sex with each other but it wasn't like I need you I love you as a person like he I do love him as a person like like we are here when it comes to the brain like he's a Libra just like I'm a Libra like we really click so um that being said like, I still got mad love for him. He still got mad love for me. Like, when I was struggling this semester with my school, like, he Snapchatted me and was just letting me know, like, girl, keep your head up. Like, you got this. Like, you can do it type stuff. Like, he was there for me, you know? And a lot of people are like, oh, well, he, like, pretty much took advantage of you because you were so young. But I swear, he didn't take advantage of nothing over here because I'm the one who, like, was leaping. I was like a little bunny, like an energizer bunny. Like, where, where is it at? So, <laughs> that makes me sound so bad, but that was way back when, like, I'm not like that no more, but, um, yeah, way back when, y'all, uh, Mr. Macho Man and me was really getting it on, and so, as y'all can tell by the way the story ended, I did not have sex with a married man, he's married, like, he's getting married now, which, shout out to him and his wife, <laughs> but, um, yeah, shout out to y'all. But yeah, um, I wasn't having sex with him. I wouldn't have sex with him when they were together. And I wouldn't have sex with him now that they're like about to get married. I wouldn't I wouldn't ever dare do that. Like but we still do talk. Like he's like I can't ever say he's the bro. I don't wanna be that girl like he's a bro knowing that you and a bro has sex. No, but he's like mad cool. Like he's mad cool. So um I guess that's the story of time that I had sex with a married man that wasn't really married at the time, but now he's about to get married. Shout out to you, Macho Man. But I don't know if this is going to be um, girl talk. I think this is about to be girl talk. I think this is going to have to be girl talk, especially because, like, this is girl talk. Y'all, thanks for tuning in to Girl Talk, okay? Like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching the Diamond Princess TV show. Y'all, I swear I'm not how I used to be. I swear it. Bye, y'all. My bitch is bad and bougie. Bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage.